Hi! Hi guys! So today is day 16 and wait. Yeah, should be this. Okay. So uh, we shall continue exercising uh, for half an hour. So now, yeah, I feel I'm slightly more fitter. I can keep pushing, you know, always room uh, for growth. And so tonight we'll continue 30, 35 minutes. It's about 11.37 now. So we exercise till past midnight. Yeah. Hopefully the song I choose today, or should I say it randomized today, uh, is, is better than previous. Uh, the starting song is one of my favorite, Pure Imagination. And so I think it first came out in uh, Willy Wonka's movie. So I kind of reviewed the original Willy Wonka and also the one in 2015. And it's still beautiful, this song, yeah. So this is a remix by uh, Carmen. So it's a bit of a warm-up music for me. So let's start. stretch man whole day I was like in front of the computer trying to figure out my app yeah I had a I bought an app a game app which is just a norm, normal sorting kind of a game so I kind of rebranded it and so yes the objective is to sort like emojis so there's a third <laughs> icon and the smiley icon so uh, probably I may put a link or something uh, let, let me go I'm still in the process of uploading it hopefully it's not rejected by Apple because the first time I updated it uh, because I'm still learning okay I'm learning literally from scratch and figuring things out as I go to reskin the game because the original game was sorting boxes doesn't really make too much sense and the box unfortunately I can't put the Dunbo right because of copyright issue and trademark so I thought emojis, you know, so these two emojis is kind of generic and it's like can be used for commercials. So I thought let's rebrand it to sort the emojis. So do uh, <laughs> support me, uh, put a review, like it, or something like that. So hopefully, in due time, I can get more apps and uploads, uh, more interesting apps, you know, reskinning them. I mean, I'm not at the level of developing yet. Um, I, I don't know whether I will do it even because it takes quite a bit of learning for coding wise you know in, in iOS code in uh, S code so I mean I used to code before like if, if you count JavaScript kind of a flash coding is as a, as a coding I guess uh, or maybe it's scripting actually so I did flash game before when I was much younger like 10 years 15 years ago in university I did a Dungeons Dance Revolution I think I mentioned this the other day I can't remember which which day, but anyway, so yeah, so I, I think it's like bringing back a bit of my childhood because I love to play games when I was young, literally all the console games, I, you know, Super Nintendo, Sega, oh my god, Neo Geo, briefly, arcade game, yes, definitely, and all the game watch, you know, from Tetris to, yeah, all sorts, and, and over time I grew to like, you know, like RPG kind of genre, and puzzle, definitely, puzzle. So this game app that I'm uploading, it, it's not really puzzle, it's more of those a bit mindless, but it's just a bit of a time waster type, you know, but it, it trains, it kind of like challenge you, you know, for your dexterity and maybe I would, I would say strategy, right, to sort the, sort the two emojis into their proper uh, boxes. It's a very, very basic game, yeah. So let's start basic. Just like exercising or fun exercise, we start basic. Okay, we start with something manageable and slowly over time, once you get the habit consistently, you know, we kind of like move up the ranks, move up the notch, uh, doing more resistance, more challenging kind of uh, uh, exercise. Okay, so that song is kind of a warm up. Okay, there you go. That song was like 15, 16 kilometers per hour. Whoa, this tempo goes up to 19. 20 comes per hour. Let's go. Let's today exercise till maybe 12, 10, so maybe about 35 minutes ish. Ooh. How's your new year so far? Two days since the start of the year of the pig. Hopefully, you're not picking up too much. 
if you are, obviously, you know, you got to work out the extra calories, all the extra ways, pastry, oh, hop hop, you know, you sun, right? Seventh day, they say you have the long sun, which is like, apparently, they say it's invented in Singapore. Is it true? Or is it Hong Kong? So they toss the salad, okay? <laughs> I know in the West, toss the salad has a totally different meaning, okay? So don't think dirty or naughty, but it's tossing literally salads, cut salads and raw fish, okay? And there's like crackers on it. So it's actually savory, sweet. It's mostly sweet actually. And the plum sauce that, that makes it real sweet. So Chinese believe that, you know, tossing this salad, the yusan, is like, it brings luck and blessing. So the higher you toss the salad up into the sky, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. I mean, the more luck it is. I think it's just that it has grown over time to become just a fun event. Not a lot of people like it, but I love it. Look the salad. And it's tasty and sweet. It's super sweet, actually. And so, yeah, you know, there's raw fish and sweet, so to most people it might be yucky. But I like that combination. I like the sweet savory combo. Hence, you know, those dark chocolate with salt, so it's a bit bitter, sweet and salty all at once. Oh my god, it's awesome. Sorry, I keep talking about food, <laughs> never exercise. Yeah, maybe I can't miss food. Know that I'm on this one meal a day uh, diet plan, but you know, so I make every meal count. So this afternoon, I made some curry noodles and it's vermicelli, yeah, so vermicelli, so it's not, it's not very heavy carbs, but yes, I know. The packet of salt, sodium that's inside the curry is a bit saltish, but it's nice. It's, it's spicy, and it is spicy. I did put in some um, what's that? Mushroom from yesterday's veggies, chicken, lean chicken, meat, fish meat, the whole whole piece of fish. So yeah, quite a bit of fish, which is good and lean. So I can't boil it up. I did have, of course, my last piece. Was it? Oh yeah, it's the last piece of my chicken cutlet. It's a small piece, like a burger size patty, which I kind of just grill it, uh, bake it into the oven. I need to buy some more tomorrow. <laughs> I know, I know, <laughs> fried stuff. It's not fried per se, but yes, it's crumbs and there is oil. I didn't put oil actually, it's more like grill. So it's not fried. <laughs> Technically, it's crispy. But it's like it's like group oven baked crispy, so that's okay, right? <laughs> well, if you do exercise and you know, oh, this is a famous song. Remember listening to this song? What's it called now? Oh, seven days and one week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I keep forgetting all these artists. I used to listen to them when I was much younger. There's this craze, there's this phrase on my head where I just keep listening to trance house progressive music. Techno music, love it, love it. It's still with in me, I guess. But you know, kind of like evolved to more melodious kind. And like I said, game music, a big song. I mean, again, there's that nostalgic nostalgia. I know I'm getting old, right? <laughs> so yeah, it catches up. You kind of like older things. You appreciate more. You know, I guess it's about capturing back that memory, that youth that you can never get back. But you can always be young and hot, right? So same thing, you know. I'm so I try to be not that I try to be. I am cheerful and stuff because I like that youthfulness in cheer, in being cheerful. Even if you're old, you don't have to be like old and grumpy. I don't like that grumpiness or who knows being an old people. That's like I don't know. It's just propagating that 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 like jaded, you know, like you went through life and you're just jaded and stuff. I mean, you're quite jaded for a while. Frankly speaking, you know, life deals me lemon. I don't mean lemonade, I mean <laughs> sour bitter lemon, so it's terrible. So, yeah, you can make lemonade, make it tasty, put some honey, add some, you know, so play with the sourness. Yeah, someday I think it should be my own lemonade. <laughs> I haven't really made lemonade before. Okay, I mean, yeah, there's lemon juice, but not really the way lemonade tastes. 
Cosmos lemonade outside is full of sugar and it's gassy carbonated, which is tasty, but not good for health, yeah? Too much sugar. But nowadays, oh yeah, the non sugar drinks I drink nowadays is tea, so I put two sachets, sach uh, sachets of uh, wheat, wheat barley tea and one sachet of lemongrass tea. It's not sweetened at all, but the taste, the smell of it, it's actually very, I mean, Maybe for a first timer, it might feel very bitter or awkward. It's not that bitter, just, you know, it's like tea and water. So just soaking water, <laughs> tea infused water. So, it's good. My aircon down or am I just being very hot? Uh, maybe I have to wash the filter. Let's feel. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it's about time that I need to service my aircon. It's been more than six months. You should always service it every six months, especially if you uh, <coughs> use it every day. You know, the coolant might be losing gas or the coolant not working. You know, stuff like that. I only had this icon for like a year-ish since December 2017. So literally a year and two months. Uh, let me see, yeah. Can say so. No, actually, a year, three months. Anyway, so time to <laughs> kind of like fix it and service it, just like your body. All right, you gotta service your body as well. It's like mm -hmm, comes and goes, no big dramatic changes, very consistent somewhat. Okay, this is now back to that virtual riot. I think that 24 year old German musician album called Classics. So I think I think he re reimagined like classic songs or something, classic tech techno songs. Can't tell what is this. Troublemaker, that's the title. Troublemaker, oh. Yesterday, <laughs> there was Bully, <laughs> no Troublemaker. Some titles are like getting naughty or what. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. The melody, very funky. Slight numbness on my right hand. What is it? Hmm. Yeah, why is it slightly numb? Strange. <laughs> What's going on? Sometimes it's in my body, pinging on it, or okay, maybe exercising too much, the blood's not flowing there. First, after what, 16 days? Okay, it's going back. Hmm. Hopefully that's not a sign of anything. In the past I did have numbness in my hands. I was using the phone too much the whole day. And then once I start start you know lessening the use and my arm seems to gain back the sensation. Yeah. Oh, sorry, if like, everything looks monotonous because I'm always in this position and doing this exercise. But again, I need accountability and I feel it's my duty and responsibility that I record this down and I hold myself accountable and uh, that, you know, I want to see my change in the body as well, I mean, health-wise. I mean, day to day, I do see my weight slightly. It's always, it's always, of course, uh, going up and down. But generally, over a week, you can see the trend is downwards. Because after a meal, of course, I may gain like one, two kg a day. And the next day, I weigh myself. It kind of went back down. 
but it's how much lower than previous day that it went down, you know. So it's like a stock market, right? Throughout the day, there's ups and downs, and then generally there's a trend. I hope it's not like stock market, but I hope this is a downtrend, like a, a bullish, wait, oh wait, a bearish market. Wait, bull, a bearish, yeah. The bull is good, right? <laughs> yeah, hence this is a bull. Bearish market. Keep going down, so wait. <laughs> But the health should be bullish. Keep going up. Well, I did sign up for a course to like learn investment next week. I mean, it's, it's such a free introduction, I guess. It's not it's not one of those. Again, there will be upsell, obviously, to our actual course and pay. Well, but it's about value investment. The kind that Warren Buffett does. So yeah, let's let's hear from this local guru, investment guru. Apparently, he has appeared in finance programs and TV shows and interviews so I forgot what's his name Caden or is it uh, so anyway <laughs> so yeah I want to diversify my portfolio right like you don't just do online business and invest here and there a bit you know weather through the dark the tough times not putting your eggs in one basket but you know spreading out but hopefully I don't spread too thin because I can feel it. Okay, I'm still paying, yeah, off in loans, in installments of my courses that I attended. So it's not cheap, I can tell you, it's not cheap. All these master, master classes. Some are over, really overcharged, I really feel, but I want to pay to experience it. Not that to experience being overcharged, but experience the networking and how, how these courses run. Who knows, maybe in the future, I might become one of the instructor or something, who knows, right? So, it's eye-opening to see how they run. They have commonalities, you know, traits, how they motivate the students. But each one has its own way of doing things. So some are more organized than others. Some are more sincere, you can feel it. Some are more informative, and some uh, inspiring, definitely. So, we shall see, because all of them Kind of promise that there'll be support throughout the year, so called, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be asking for a lot of support so far. I really need to execute a lot of them. Still trying to figure things out. I mean, it's so new to me, this, this world of e commerce. In fact, commerce in particular, finance and business, it, it's very foreign to me. You know, just in the past, you being more educator and <clears throat> Uh, tech support, so not so much. I mean, I do, I do encounter and and uh, interact with customers. I do sell for two past two years in Carousel. You know, I was like top forty apparently by Carousel Singapore. Top forty of sellers, top forty percent of sellers. You know, so that's a good thing. That's very encouraging. Uh, I haven't been listing much things recently. That's bad. I need to get back to the game. Start, start listing things up to sell, you know, keep my things up in the market so that... I, I remember there was something that I listed two years ago and then <clears throat> someone, a, a girl came, young lady, bought this Bluetooth speaker, uh, Bluetooth headset from me and it's like two years old and yeah, no more warranty I think. But it's like a new set because I had it like exchanged and she bought it so it's like, okay, not bad. Not that I lose entirely, so it mitigates my loss. So cool. <laughs> but still, you know, didn't use it for a long time, so it's still a loss, I'd say. So if you guys have anything that you bought and you don't use it, please sell it off quickly. Don't leave it there to, to like, uh, catch spider webs and especially electronic things. You know, they lose value very fast. And they'll get damaged actually. I mean, they'll lose their function over time. Because they don't use it, the electronics are moving. Apparently, they don't make electronics like they used to in the past. So, they don't last. Especially some big, bigger brands, as you know. I think they're not built to last nowadays. The plan was to build, use a few years or even less than a year, new model comes out. You got to upgrade. And the old one, you can sell it off. Hopefully, someone wants it. Or recycle it, you know, no point keeping it. You become a holder 
I'm such a holder when I was younger, seriously. I'm still kind of, but much better now. So same thing, right? I mean, you don't want to hold fats in your body. Same thing, you don't want to hold things in your house. And you don't want to hold data in your computer. You know? I do, I do have that bad habit, right? Like, 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 we do want to keep things that we like. But people don't understand. If you keep keeping things, it will have no value. And when you're old, you're cluttering the place, cluttering your mind with things that's not useful anymore. And so, I, I, I mean, of course, if it's sentimental, keep a few. It doesn't mean everything is sentimental. That's, that's not sentimental. That's the reason not. That's the kind of holder's mindset. Like everything is useful down the road. Or something be sentimental. I think the more we hold on to certain feelings, the, the more we don't have a closure. And therefore, you know, it hinders our progress in life. How we want to be successful. And you need, like I said, you need to have space. Not just physical space, but mental space to grow. To go upwards. So if it's cluttered, it's very hard. It's very hard. I mean, maybe some people can, but I don't think most people can. I know I can't. So hence, I've been decluttering, upholding my life, you know, keeping things basic. Of course, if I can, I wouldn't need this, even this exercise. I'll just go out and run and, and stuff like that. So there have yet another accessories cluttering the hole. But, you know, because of my back problem, it's not that easy for me. And again, I want to control the variables here, like I said, to do the recording as well. And you can control the environment, be it rain or shine, I can still do my exercise. So, yeah, I have to justify this machine. Not cheap, like I say, 200 plus. It's actually cheap as a product, but it's a shipment that costs a lot, like 100 plus. So, yeah, too bad because it's bulky and scabby. Ooh, okay, two more minutes to midnight. That's fast. Today, talk quite a bit. I think I like my mind. I mean, I enjoyed this session. Not just about exercise, but I think I'm like decluttering my mind by saying things and unloading ideas and feelings and experiences. Hopefully, you gain something from it. <laughs> Don't clutter your mind, okay? Release, release all the excess. Your mind needs space to rest and breathe and grow. Okay, now the music are crazy fast today. It's consistent though. We consistently cycling like 17 to 18 plus kilometers per hour. So far, ooh, went over 3,000 and 93 calories. Nice. Ah, okay. Dancing Queen again, the Abba, the remix for Aerobic. It's so, 135 beat per minute. Oh. oh, okay, midnight. Let's do it for this song and maybe just one more. We are good for tonight. Hmm. Actually, no, maybe two more songs, three more songs. Because I see I'm only recording 23 minutes. I need to record over 30 minutes for my exercise. So, okay, so no, maybe 10, 10 more minutes. Seven, seven, ten, yeah. I'm really having the time of my life. Seriously. Partly this is like my journal. My daily journal. Somewhat. I'm not talking about what. Okay, not always, but things that do the day, but. But what I feel, what I remember, memories, everything, you know, it's like being poured into this video. So maybe someday, if I do scroll back and listen, it's something nice. Hopefully, there'll be a feature where they'll transcribe everything in the video into text. Then it's easier to search and to organize things, you know. So it's not just videos that's going to be there and then it's like, oh, you forget forever. Well, I guess most people are.
Two, three. So I think one more song, one more song. Okay, okay, what's this? Interesting song. It's not one of those cardio songs. Hot nine? Oh, it's a hot something. Some game music. Funky beat. Very strong tempo. <laughs> like something for me to cool down. Oh, okay. I said too early. There's the beat. Oh, it's fast. Yes. You know, after I had this house for about a year, I like this house more and more. Oh, this is an old house, it's been 27 years. There's cracks and stuff that's showing, even after the painting. But it's like, yeah, I'm building a new life, new hope, new aspirations. I hope you too always have new goals in life and all reach for a greater heights. I did speak like one two minutes. So yeah. Always always try to push yourself a bit further if you can. So today I'm okay. I'm quite okay. So I coming down my forehead, my back, and that's a sign that I really really worked it out. Fun exercise. Fun exercise style. <laughs> like the, <laughs> Gunnam style. Oh no, I forgot how it does. Do you remember Gunnam style? Oh, maybe I should put Gunnam style in size music. Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. I think I should try it tomorrow. Tomorrow I might have to do it earlier because. Wait, let me think about it. Nine? Tomorrow I have a meeting, after that I'll be back late, after midnight. So, oh dear, I have a phone call from overseas that I have to attend to. Oh shit, tomorrow I may have to miss my exercise. No! Okay, okay. No choice, tomorrow we we'll have to do it early, like 9. Let me see. No, 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 even earlier because my meeting is at 30. Oh shit! Tomorrow I'm going to exercise maybe about 5 and then give an hour to rest before I head out. Okay. Uh, shots. Forgot about the meeting tomorrow and stuff. my body a rest like because this exercise is quite really low impact so it's not like you know you do some oh 
strenuous exercise, swim for a few hours. And then the next few days you rest and then do it again. You know, not like some people do gym. But I think if you do it consistently every day, you don't have to rest. And it helps to build your, your, yeah, your, uh, what should I say? Oh, it condition your body and mind, you know, the mindset. Like this is normal, just like you're walking from home to work and or something like that. Home to work, you know. <laughs> Home to the transport or something, you know, just everyday things. All right, let's do it. Woo. Let's finish with this song. Kilometers, yeah. That's like twice for Singapore. I told you if yesterday I said right, like Singapore is about fifty kilometers east to west. So I cycled hundred kilometers. So I cycled the whole way from Singapore and back. <laughs> if only cycling is that easy. <laughs> it's not a straight road. Yeah. I can't cycle, unfortunately. I haven't learned how to balance and stuff like that. I never did it so when I was young, so I tried it when I was older. I just couldn't do it. Strangely, I could inline skate, like balance the inline skate, I could. And strangely, uh, I never see a need to drive, so I never had my driving license. But I do have diving license. As I mentioned the other day, right? The underwater scuba diving. So yeah, I know I'm a bit crazy. You know, skip the so-called essential or the basic and go for something a bit more <laughs> a bit more left view. I won't say left view, but a bit more typically people would consider as more advanced. Oh well. It's not like I skip grades when I was young or when I was in school, but who knows, right? Imagine you have another alternate life it's like one of those prodigies, skipping grades, you know, going up in life, being brilliant in science or maths or you know, stuff like that, or arts. Ooh. Feel the burn, but not as bad as yesterday. Okay, nice couple 30 minutes. Not that bad. About energy. First, I want to finish up some of the writings for my upload so that it may take a whole night, a whole day for Apple to approve. Okay, that's it. Whew. Oh, my butt's a little bit sore. I think I need to, yeah, get used to this, you know, cycling for half an hour because I don't feel the soreness on my butt. Yeah. Okay, see you tomorrow, day 17, oops, <laughs> and that's it for day 16, goodbye and good night, bye.